does so much stuff. All right, all right, all right. Y'all already know what's about to go down when y'all see this setup. If you are new here, my name is Bianca. Make sure that you join the family and subscribe if you're not already. But if you are not new here, hey girl, welcome back. So if you don't already know, this is where we discuss our hauls. I did a few of them last year and got really great feedback from you guys. And y'all like the chill, laid back, girl talk type of hauls. So we're doing another one today. If you can tell by the title, today is going to be a massive, massive Ulta Beauty haul. This is everything I probably purchased throughout the holiday season. So all the way from like, Black Friday up until the new year. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep on watching. Also, if you're not new here, you already know, I always have a drink with me. Usually it's wine or something like that, very chill. But I am actually participating in dry January. Ew. So with that being said, we have our water today. Um, so grab your drink and then come back and let's get right into it. So. This bag is everything, has everything that I purchased from around Black Friday all the way up to the new year. Um, there's a lot of little bags in here, so I'm not gonna do it in any specific order as far as like fragrance, body, skin, makeup. I'm just gonna pull bag by bag out. Um, I think that'll be the most easiest way to do this. And then I also have an order that I did, so I'll show you guys that. Um, but I don't wanna make this intro too long, so let's just get right into it. First off, we're gonna start with the e.l.f. lip oils. Now, yes, you see four here, and I'm gonna tell you why. So I have on Honey Talks right now, and I love this lip oil. So initially, I bought two colors. So I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. The top pink one is Coral Fixation, and the bottom is Honey Talks. I love these. Um, when they first dropped, I happened to go in the store the day they brought them out and I bought them and then I went back the next day to get more and they were done. So they recently re-upped last week. So I just went and got two more of the Honey Talks because this is honestly my favorite, favorite color from them. These are $8. I have the Dior one, um, but that one actually tints your lips a little bit and I don't like that. So I just like that I found a dupe as far as the shine and the gloss is concerned for $8. Grab you one if you could catch it or try to just order one. Next, I did an order. So this was more like a Christmas gift to myself. Um, and it is a fragrance. It's the Barberry Goddess gift set. I don't believe the gift sets are out anymore, but I will make sure to link the actual perfume. So this gift set came with the full size, like the 3.3, a lotion and a travel. So I have the travel right now and I wish I could show y'all, but it's in my car. It's legit done. That's how I knew. I kept reaching for it. So I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and get the big one. I even um, I even told my sister-in-law to get my mother-in-law this for Christmas because she smelled it for Thanksgiving and she was like, oh my God, what do you have on? This smells so good. It does have scents of or notes of vanilla. I'll make sure the notes are on the side of the screen so you guys know, but this smells so freaking good. I cannot wait to open this. Um, so next, I got the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. This is the aluminum free one. Um, I heard a lot of things about this deodorant for a long time, and I just never dodged the bullet. Like, I never bit the bullet and bought it because it is kind of pricey. I think it's in the $30 or $40 range. But lately, I realized that my deodorant is no longer carrying its end of the bargain. Like... I found myself like smelling myself, not terribly, but just like asking myself like, didn't I put deodorant on this morning? And then I went, applied the deodorant, went about my day. Then a couple days later, I found myself asking the same question again. And then I remembered that I asked myself that question a few days before and I was like, hold up. Cause I know I put deodorant on. So I feel like my body is no longer trying to deal with Dove the way it used to. I don't know, or maybe my body is just used to it and I need to switch it up. So I figured I would switch it up on the Donna Karen and see how I like it so far. I really do like it. If you wanna know what it smells like, close your eyes and picture like a older lady, like a grandmother, like an old lady's 
powder room or her vanity. Like it's just giving very old lady, but you don't smell it beyond your underarm. So it's fine. It doesn't really bother me. Like I don't smell it outside of when I'm just putting it on. Um, but I really, really like it so far. I'll keep y'all posted on how it works like with the gym when I'm like a little more active and sweatier. Next, I got, this was another holiday set that I got myself for Christmas. And it is a heatless curl set. It's called a satin heated, satin heatless styling gift set. So this is from Kitsch, the brand Kitsch. It has the satin, so you can do like the roll curl, but it has, it has a band, it has two satin scrunchies, a big roller for the front of your hair if you have bangs, and then a banana clip. I plan on doing a quick weave very, very soon. So I thought this would be perfect so that I don't have to like fry my weave out. So you guys will be seeing this in a vlog coming very, very soon. Um, okay, first small bag. I got some skincare. I kind of just re-upped on all my good stuff. So starting off with the Sunday Riley Vitamin C Serum. Y'all know this is my number one favorite vitamin C serum. It is really pricey. So I did manage to get it on sale. I think I got it for like 20% off or 15% off, something like that. It runs about $85, I believe, for this size. Um, so I always try to get it on a sale, whether it's Ulta or Sephora or whoever, wherever, I try to get it on sale. But I love, love, love this vitamin C. And then I also purchased another vitamin C that I'm really, really liking. It's the Roche Posay vitamin C. Now this one is a little cheaper. It's about half the price. So this is like 85. I think this is in the 40s, I believe. Um, so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, definitely get the La Roche Posay. I love them both, honestly. Um, and I use them interchangeably. Next, I got these pH balancing wipes for down below. Um, I recently came across this brand and I was using Honey Pot in the past and I just didn't like the way the Honey Pot ones made me feel. Um, so I wanted to switch it up. So I found these in Ulta and I was like, oh, let me try these. And I also got the wash. That's this brand too. It's in a, like a, a clearish bottle as well with green writing. You'll, it's from the brand Love Wellness. But I like these wipes because they come in packs of 15 and I can keep one in my gym bag, in my car, wherever, just because you need to freshen up or whatever. I do wish they came in like bigger packs, like for my bathroom. Um, but I'm just gonna look up the brand and see if maybe they sell it on their site. Maybe it's not on Ulta, but it's on Love Wellness' site. So I'm gonna check that out. But I've been obsessed with these, so I stocked up and got two. Next little bag, I got... Oh, I already took it out. Damn, I don't have it right here, but it's the Fenty Prime and Set Essential. So this was one of their holiday kits. And basically it had a the mattifying primer from Fenty and the Invisimat, which is like a touch-up powder. And I believe I showed y'all the touch-up powder before, but it comes in like this little compact, just how you see it. Ooh, the light. Just how you see it on this picture. It's super compact. You can put it in your purse. I take it everywhere with me whenever I have on makeup because I am super oily. Like it gives grease ball. Um, so I like to touch it up and it immediately mattifies my face all over again, which I love. The primer I did not keep. I actually had a friend that wanted the primer as a gift. So I put that with her Christmas gift and then I just took the, um, the powder. Uh, okay, that was it. And then I also got the Fenty Concealer Brush, so it looks like this. I also don't have it right here in front of me, um, but I did use it to apply my concealer today. And for the girls that's been saying, apply your concealer with a brush instead of a sponge, thank you. And if you're still applying your concealer with a sponge, get it. Don't knock it till you try it. Please try a concealer brush instead. When I tell you the coverage is so much better, I'm able to set it so much better, like, Doing it with a brush literally changed the game. And Fenty's brush, Rihanna's brush is actually like the perfect size. It gets in the crease. Like it's just the perfect density. It's the perfect shape. It's the perfect size. And it's so freaking nice. Um, and then lastly, I got Burberry Brick for her. I think I'm going to take this one back. Again, I'll make sure to have all the notes for the perfume on the side because I don't know them off the top of my head. It was... It was advertised as a vanilla-ish scent, 
but I don't really smell vanilla so much. It's definitely more of a fresher scent in my opinion. And y'all know I'm into more vanilla gourmand type of scent. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna hold on to this or take it back. I did tell myself I would try to wear it at least and see how I like it and then go from there. So I'll let y'all know in an upcoming vlog what I decide to do with this because I don't really know. All right, next bag. What bag are we on, like four? Jesus. Um, okay, this was a hair bag. So like I told y'all, I plan on doing a quick weave, which means I need to like silk press my leave out and in general. So I did pick up a few things. Um, I don't have a clarifying shampoo. I don't know how that's possible, but I swear to y'all, out of all the hair products I have, I have no clarifying shampoo. So I picked up the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo because I heard really, really good things about this. And then for the flat ironing process, I bought a lot of Kenra products because I heard her products are really, really good. I got the Platinum Lux One Leave-In Spray, which is from her Gold series. Then I got her Silkening Gloss, which looks like this. I heard a lot of good things about this. And then the last thing I got was the Blow Dry Spray. So I'm going to try, I don't know if I'm going to try all of these. Um, yeah, I guess I can use them all in one sitting. I have to do some more research and see how to use them all together, but I will show y'all that in a hair video because I do plan to record the quick weave. Um, I also got some rollers from Kitsch. Again, I'm really gonna try the heatless option so that I don't fry my freaking edges. So, I mean, fry my leave out. So this is a, they're like thermal rollers and there's eight in a pack. So these plus this set, I should have more than enough different ways to curl my hair. Um, lastly, it looks like body stuff. I got, I re up on my pressed white strips. Now these I usually get from Walmart, but y'all know Ulta's rewards points are like fire. Like their reward system is really, really good. So I felt like I might as well just get these from Ulta instead of from Walmart so I can get more benefits with the rewards. And they're the same price, so I'll grab those. Um, I got this Hemp's Vanilla Frost Lotion. It smells so freaking good, y'all. I should have got like two or three because clearly holiday season is over. Um, but it smells just like the EOS Vanilla Cashmere. Same type of vibe, same type of vibe. It smells so good. I just thought this was cute with the bells for the holidays. Um, so that's like limited edition. I also re-upped on my Therabreath mouthwash. Again, this is something that I can get at Target or Walmart, but why not get my points at Ulta? So I just went ahead and re-upped on this. And the last two things I got was this gift with purchase. Um, so it was like a free gift with purchase. It's actually from Neutrogena. I think I was supposed to get a free gift with the La Roche Posay, but they ran out. So the girl was like, oh, we don't have any more, but I can give you this three piece set from Neutrogena. And I'm like, sure. So it's a headband to wash your, when you're washing your face and then it's the little wrist thing. Um, and I was gonna buy this on Amazon because surprisingly I do not have a set. But when she offered it, I was like, oh, period. So we have that. And then lastly, I just got my Falscara remover. So for those of you that know, I do Falscara and Impress combine for my lashes. And this glue takes them off one, two, three, so you don't have to rip out your eyelashes. This remover is so good. So I just picked up the big one. And that's pretty much it for my haul. So it wasn't too long. These are just a lot of like little knick-knacky things that I got. During the holiday season, most of this stuff I got on some sort of discount. Um, again, because it was the holidays. So comment down below and let me know if y'all got any of these in your holiday shopping. And happy new year. I hope everybody is having an amazing beginning of 2024. I hope you guys did your goal setting. Da -da 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 -da. I will be showing y'all how I did mine. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Turn your post notifications on if they're not on already so that you can get the next upload. I think my favorite item from all the Ulta buying this season has gotta be these lip oils. Elf did their big one on these lip oils and now they have liquid blushes, y'all. They're really coming for Rare Beauty's next. They're coming for all of these high-end brands next. And I'm, I'm here for it. Like I'm really
really here for it. Elf is one of my favorite drugstore brands. So we about to get into it. I kind of want to do a full face with just Elf products because I feel like you can get a bomb face with just Elf products. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my top five favorite purchase. Like, look, I went back and got two more, so now I have four. And I also gifted these to so many people. Like eight dollars. Come on. So if you did not get your hands on these for yourself, I highly recommend doing so. But that's it for this vlog. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me and hanging out today. Let me know what y'all want to see next, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.